Hey guys, um, today we're going to do another uh, review, a sleeping pad review. This is Sunny Chick's uh, sleeping pad. So we did two other sleeping pads before. Just a heads up, the other sleeping pads are $20, 20 and $25. The other one we reviewed, I think they're $20, $25. This one is $40. However, you do get what you paid for. This one is extremely comfortable. I've never... Um, seeing a sleeping pad, a, a hiking sleeping pad that's this comfortable. So very compact, it's about four or five pounds, sorry, not very compact, but it does fit at the end. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna show you how to strap it on to uh, the backpack, the hiking backpack. Uh, so it comes like this. What you do is you pop it open, right? And then I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it that way. Actually, I'll do it this way. I'll open it up first. So just like my other sleeping pad, the orange one that I reviewed, it has the pad on the, uh, on the bottom and then it has the pillow attached to it. So I'll blow up the pillow first and I can flip it around for you. For the pillow, what we want to do is we want to squeeze this just like the other one and blow into it. And that's it. So for, um, it depends on how much hair, but for me, it's like six or seven puffs and that will, uh, that will get it fully inflated. Now you do not want to inflate this all the way because it gets really, really tight. And then when you lay down, once it puffs up all the way, your neck is at like a really weird angle. And when you turn, it just feels really weird. Okay, so leave some air left like this. Um, just like my other review, I told you guys to do that. Uh, something similar. Now for the bag, in the instruction, in the instructions, um, we are supposed to, this is the opening, the air opening, you're supposed to open it up, and then what you do is you leave it down, and if you, if you listen, you can hear air going in, right? You can hear air going in. Um, what you're supposed to do is leave it until there's no longer air going in, and then what you do is you close it, and then you're supposed to roll it up like this, right? So what we're doing is we're pushing the air upward to the top, and as you can see, once we get closer, see, this is now inflated. And then we're supposed to let it back out again, and open it up, and we can hear air coming in again. Now, I'll be honest with you, I tried this two times already. Um, it, it takes like 15, 20 minutes to get it fully inflated if you do it that way. Uh, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but the other sleeping bag, to, uh, sleeping pad too, it instructs me to do that. And I, I don't like doing it like that, especially when I'm hiking. It takes way too long. So what I do is once I stop, once I get to, um, once I get to my camping grounds, I'll open it and I'll leave it like this, open it like that. Just let it self inflate, okay? So for something like this, if you lay it flat, let it self inflate, it will get up to, I don't know, anywhere from 50 to 60% self inflate, it will open up, this will puff up, and then I just blow onto it. And the trick with blowing into this is you blow air in, and when you take a breath, there's four little holes right here. You can use your finger and cover pretty much all of it and push it in like this so you can catch a breath, and then when you blow, pull it out, okay? So blow in, and this will um, usually take, I don't know, around a minute only. So here we go. Now you do want to turn this a bit, you see this crease, it will stop air from going there. You want to turn it a bit sideways like that, so there's no crease. Got my homie over there holding it for me. It's not folding, someone's holding.
There you go. That's it. Um, I know. I know the instruction tells us to do the rolling thing, and almost every single sleeping pad will tell you to do that. That's not very efficient. Just blow into the dang thing. Lay it down. Uh, you want to see this low inflating thing. What you want to do is you want to flip it over. And as you can see, what's really cool about this is it has these little clipper things. This little clipper on each side. So what that is is if you and your homie or your significant other goes camping and you guys have uh, two of the same kind and you're on like a slanted hills, what usually happens is uh, for my other sleeping pads, when we sleep, like it'll start sliding. If you have really rough terrain, it'll slide or you move around. For this one, you can, if I um, have another one, I can just clip onto it and then you can just align them. You know? And if you have enough, it's kind of like a refugee camp. You can just sleep by each other. But, um, extremely comfortable. For $20 more, this is ridiculous. Like, this feels so good. It feels almost as, now, yeah, almost as good as my bed. Very, very comfortable. And if there's, you know, it depends, like I said, on the terrains. If you're, if you're camping on more rocky terrains or hills, sometimes you get, um, we camp on places where there are big pine trees and then there are the roots um, that comes above the ground for the whole campsite. With a regular sleeping pad, sometimes you can feel it. Even sleeping pad and then sleeping bag, you can still feel it on your back at night. This one, guarantee, you're not gonna feel anything. This is so thick and so comfortable. Um, I don't know what the instructions are. For me, it looks like it's around two inches thick, actually. Is this two inches? I think so, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it's two inches. I don't know what the actual... But it's almost like it's double layered. My other one is usually only half. So this one's like almost double layered. So definitely guys, um, if you want something comfortable, if you want something that's durable, this is the one, Sunny Chick. We'll drop the link down below. Um, but if you want something more lightweight, more for uh, beginners, um, compact, if you can't wait for the first time, you don't wanna put $40 into a reliable sleeping pad, uh, check out our other two. Yeah, so when, when you're done with it, guys, um, you do have to, to deflate it. We just gotta open this up, right? Open it back up, and then we'll open uh, this guy back out too, to deflate. And then we'll just, for this one, you have to hold this in slightly like that. See, if you push like this, the air doesn't come out. If you squeeze it, there we go, pretty easy. So I'm gonna squeeze it. And you can knee it too. I always knee it. it, makes it a lot easier. Okay. Just push all of it out, just to make sure it's flat. That's good enough. Okay, so we'll keep that open. For this one, um, what you wanna do is, you can see the, the straps are on the back and then wrap around this way and clip it, see? So you wanna flip it upside down like this and then we'll roll it in. So keep this in here and then we'll just roll it. Keep that side open, roll it slowly and let's wait for the air to come out. I'm gonna squeeze this to get the pillow out. Remember this little pillow? You can still squeeze this and get the last of the air out. Yeah, just slowly. The thing about this um, sleeping pad is it is thicker, it's more comfortable, but when you're when you're rolling it, it is a bit harder if you have smaller hands. Um, what you can do is you can also knee it like this. I always knee mine. And then you can do another layer. And then, see? So use your weight, like you don't have to use your, your grip. Just use your natural grip weight to close it. Just like that.
Once you get all the air out, you can push it in. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So tight that, tighten that up. Um, and then this string, see, just wrap it around like that. And then as you can see, you can just wrap it right back in like this. You can loosen this a bit too, this part, so you can loosen it a bit to make it easier. And then you can push it through. And then once it's through, you can pull it like that to tighten it. So I knee it like this, and I strap it. And as you can see, this is slightly bigger than my uh, regular one. Let me pop this out for it. So this is slightly, that one's slightly bigger than my regular sleeping bag, which when I go camping, this is my regular one where I can fold it into hand. Um, the weight, it's actually about the same. This one weighs maybe a pound or two more. So the weight is about the same. Uh, the nice thing about this is, so this one, you can stick it in there. You can put it all the way um, inside your hiking bag. But for this one, you can leave it on the outside so there's actually more room, right? So you can do that. And then you can do that. Just wrap it up like that. So don't worry, don't um, don't worry about the, the length of it. It looks wider, but that's actually how you do it. You just cap it up like that. You hike when you go hiking. You don't actually put it in your bag, so it fits just fine. Like that. And then you strap up. Just like that, homies. Yeah. Um, yeah, let us know if you buy it. Uh, I'll drop the link down below in the description. Let us know um, how, you know, whether you like it or not. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe, guys. And check out our other channel, where we're, uh, our cooking channel. So we're doing, um, we're souvenir beef steaks today, New York Strip, and then we're gonna pan fry it real quick. But we'll also drop the other channel down below too. Check it out, hope you guys like it.